A proper and regular shoe care routine will make the difference in the lifespan of your favorite shoes. In today's video, we will illustrate how to properly care for your museum leather shoes. For this tutorial, we will be using the Tan Wingtip Oxford, assembled on our Tim's last. As shown in the previous video of the series, the first step will be to remove the laces and insert the shoe trees. This will allow you to reach all the surface of the shoe more easily, keeping the leather smooth and making it easier to apply the products on. Next, brush the shoes to remove any possible dust. Pay special attention to the part where the sole meets the uppers. Starting with a dust-free shoe will ensure that each product penetrates well into every pore of the leather, ensuring the best possible result. For this step, we have chosen our long-haired Carmina brush to be able to cover more surface in less time. It's now time to apply a colourless cream since museum leather is characterised by a wonderful double-tone antique marble effect. Use a chamois or cotton cloth to apply the cream in small circular movements. Take your time and make sure to apply a thin and even layer all over the leather. Once applied, it is important to let it dry completely between 2-5 to five minutes, which is usually the time it will take to apply the cream on the other shoe of the pair. You will know that the product has dried completely when the leather is no longer sticky to your touch. Once completely dry, proceed to brushing the shoe. This step will bring the shoe shine back. We have used a medium-sized brush to enable more precision during brushing the shoes. Let's get that shine! Get ready your colourless shoe wax and chamois and start by applying only small amounts of wax using short circular strokes. Something important to keep in mind is that we want to avoid applying too much product on the areas where the shoe tends to flex, such as the vamp or the top of the heel. Allow the shoe to dry completely while repeating the steps on the other shoe. Start on brushing the shoes. The friction and heat caused by the brushing will get the shoes shining in no time. However, you might want to persevere with applying another thin layer of product on the cap toe and the bottom of the heel, letting it dry and keeping on brushing. The result will be magnificent. The wax will help protect against moisture and other external environmental factors. We recommend performing this care routine once a week or once every two weeks depending on the frequency of use. If you do not wear your shoes regularly, we recommend that you still keep up with the care routine and ensure that the leather stays hydrated and in good condition. Extra care tips. Remember to insert the shoe trees when you are not wearing the shoes. This will prevent the leather from deforming and will also help avoid wrinkles in the toe or heel area. It will absorb moisture, preventing the shoe from damage and breaking on the inside. Follow a regular shoe care routine. It will help keep the pair in good shape and prevent any damage or minor scuffs from becoming permanent. Use a shoe horn. It will keep you from unintentionally wrinkling the counter and heel areas. Allow the shoes to dry completely between layers. This way, the cream will deeply nourish the leather and the wax will give its best results.
We hope you have enjoyed our tutorial. Please let us know if you have any other shoe care tips and how often do you follow your shoe care routine. To watch more useful tutorials such as this one, don't forget to subscribe to the official Carmina Shoemaker YouTube channel. Thank you for watching!